Coffee is a multi-billion dollar industry. Just in October 2022, 9.8 million bags of coffee have been exported worldwide. 2 billion cups of coffee are consumed daily. Hello everyone, I am Sahita Karapitiya from the Department of Agriculture Engineering, Faculty of Agriculture, University of Peradiniam, presenting you my research project, Simulation of a Temperature Profile of Coffee Beans Roasted Under Far Infrared Radiation. In this video, I am going to cover four topics. Number one, the background of my research. Number two, the methodology that I have used. Number three, the results that I have to share with you. Number four, finally my conclusions. So let's get onto the video. Roasting is the most important step in coffee processing. In conventional roasting process, they use convective heating where they blow hot air onto coffee beds to roast coffee. That's good. But the problem is it consumes more time as well as energy. Research have shown use of fine infrared radiation in agriculture processing saves more time as well as energy because it can rapidly heat materials. But there is lack of research conducted on the topic of using fine infrared radiation in coffee roasting. So the aim of my research is to see and investigate whether fine infrared radiation can be effectively used in coffee roasting and to simulate the center temperature of the coffee bean and predict the surface temperature when it is roasted under far infrared radiation and to see whether all roasting degrees can be obtained when we roast coffee using far infrared radiation. The methodology consists of mainly three sections. Number one, to build a computer model. Number two, obtain experimental data to validate the model. Number three, roast more coffee beans to see whether all roasting degrees can be obtained. Well, the results of my study was really satisfactory. I'll break the results into three sections for you to understand. Number one, the validation of the model. Number two, prediction of the surface temperature. Number three, determination of the roasting degrees. There was a good agreement of it between the model predicted data as well as the experimental data that I have obtained. When the coffee beans are roasted using convective heating, it takes about 20 minutes to heat the coffee beans to a temperature about 240 degrees Celsius. But in my study, I found that it takes only 45 seconds to, to heat the center of the coffee bean to a temperature about 300 degrees Celsius. So that's a really a savior of time. So in the second step, I predicted the surface temperature. You can see that the bean surface is unevenly heated, which is needed in coffee roasting. It was observed that the light roast, medium roast, dark roast, all the three essential roasting degrees can be obtained when we roast coffee beans under FIR. So let's move on to the conclusions that I want to leave with you. First and the foremost, I want to conclude that far infrared radiation can be effectively used in coffee roasting and all the coffee roasting degrees can be obtained when we roast coffee beans using FIR. And finally, this model can be used by aspiring researchers as an aid in their further research. Let's hope for a sustainable agriculture with a better coffee production. Soil erosion and loss of soil fertility are significant environmental issues with adverse effect on farm livelihoods in the hill country of Sri Lanka. Expansion and intensification of commercial vegetable farming in the absence of adequate efforts to conserve soil have led to soil degradation at an alarming rate in the central hills. Although farmers have been constantly made aware of the risks of soil degradation on their livelihoods, adoption of soil conservation measures in the hill region still remains at an unsatisfactory level. The findings of the research depicted the pervasive role of farmers' perceived behavioral control in predicting their tendency to adopt soil conservation measures, which means a farmer's view of how easy or difficult it is to carry out the activity of interest was more influencing to conserve soil than any other cognitive factor which was tested through the study.